Hello everybody, Cosmos here and welcome back to some more random quizzes. So, I just did a whole video and right at the end when I was about to end it, I realised my microphone wasn't even plugged in. Good job me. Like, just wow. I, I took Would You Survive on Mars and I, I got the thing right and it said yes I would. However in this it says I'm great with technology, which is complete bullshit because I, I've just for like 20 minutes I was going for there and I just didn't even realize my mic wasn't even plugged in Wow, I'm such an idiot. But anyway, yeah, welcome to some more random quizzes. We're gonna do two more um, ooh, I'm gonna quickly make a cut here and try and find another one for us to do so I will be right back Okay, so I found what kind of smart are you? So I'm not taking a smart test yet but I think me and everybody else knows I'm a bit of a dumb person. Like, I know what I need to know, but I'm genuinely quite dumb. So let's see what kind of smart I am, then. What did you, or do you plan to major in during college? Okay, so this is obviously for Americans, but... Okay, so I went to college in England, obviously. Um, I did cooking... I hated it. I would have loved to do done sciences, but that isn't a thing here. Um, where this what what my thing isn't here. I come on, where's where's the fucking cooking and shit like that? Where's that? Does that not even count? Fuck you. <laughs> One thing I did actually do is I went back to college. I didn't end up staying there because they kind of messed me around and didn't get me booked on the right course and stuff. I went back to college to reset some of my some of my uh, GCSEs so I could go back and work towards actually finally getting a PhD. Um, didn't work out well because, as I said, they kind of fucked me about and then I lost my motivation and I just I just didn't have the time, which absolutely fucking sucks. So, I did go back to do this out of them. So, I'm going to click that. Oh my god, it's the Breakfast Club. Um, wh who could you most relate to in the Breakfast Club? Um, okay, so... Okay, th this is a brilliant film. If, if anyone hasn't seen this, I recommend watching it. It's kind of an old film, but honestly, it's absolutely fucking amazing. It's such a good film. I love it. Uh, this guy's kind of a jock guy. Uh, this girl's, yeah, this girl's kind of like one of the popular girl people. This guy's kind of like a bum. This guy's a bit of a geek. Um, who else have we got? we got the goth girl. Uh, the, the goth loner girl. And this guy's kind of like a fucking, oh, this guy's a dick. Um, his name's Richard. He, he's literally, his, why is dick short for Richard? That makes no sense to me. At all. They're not even the same letters. What the fuck? I don't get it. But anyway, um, this guy's kind of like your typical hard-ass bastard of a teacher. Um, so who can I most relate to? Definitely not the popular people. The geeks, not even the geeks wanted me. I was definitely the loner, to be honest. Um, I was the loner person. You see, he's a loner too, but he... Yeah, see, I'd say more this guy, to be honest. This guy. You lost your job. How do you respond? Oh my god, I'm free! Fuck yes! Dust off the resume and start the job search right away. Take some much needed me time to decompress. Treat it like an opportunity to start a new bang, a brand new career, whatever that may be. Figure out some quick therapy ways to make some cash. This one. <laughs> what do you see? What do I see? I see like a vase. Yeah, that's... See, now, now I'm looking at other stuff and I see it, but I saw a vase. Uh, what do you do if you pop a tyre whilst driving? You pull over, right? You, you have to change the tyre. Right. You have to change the tyre. Why do these things happen to me? A mini meltdown and flag someone down to access the damage. No, you just change the tyre. Which would you prefer as a final exam? Um... A one hour in class exam, no notes. A two hour take home exam. A 15 minute debate in front of the class, no. Oh my god. 
an interactive dance demonstration. <laughs> how do you act that out? How do you dance? Like, how would you do that? How would that even work? What the fuck? Four page essay about how class has changed you. Oh god, no. Um, oh god, I'd rather that. I, I couldn't do it at home. I'd be too, like, enticed to take breaks whenever I wanted and just leave everything to last minute. No. You finally get the bartender's attention. Watch your move. Oh, I hate this at bars and shit when you go out and it's really, really busy there and you're trying to get, like, the guy's attention and you finally do and then you're like, um, um, and, like, and you got other people that try and butt in. Oh, I fucking hate it. Um, I'll, like, I just have, I, I just have my normal drink, which isn't here and it never is, so I just order a beer, but not a beer. Choose a work of art. Okay, which do I like the best? Which do I like the best out of these? If I was to have one on my wall. One of these two. Colours are better in it. Uh, this. Uh, which of these do you fear most? Death, failure, old age, or losing someone you love? Okay, death to me just doesn't mean a fucking thing it happens to everybody so why even spend your life stressed out it's gonna happen whether you worry about it or not and to be honest the way i look at it is you spent like i've been alive for 20 24 years almost now right but 30 years ago i didn't exist i was pretty i was dead right i didn't exist and i was fine with it then so like like, it, it doesn't matter. Failure, I fail all the fucking time. Old age is... Again, it happens to... This one has got to be the thing I fear the most in the world. This... I Now, I've lost someone I love and... Oh my god, I've never been so low in my life. This one. Who is Michelangelo? Teenage Mutant Ninja... Tra <laughs> yes! Ninja Turtle! If you could have the career slash legacy of one of these people, who would you choose? Elvis... Einstein, Mother Teresa. Who else do we have? I don't know these two. This is this is Martin Luther King. Yeah. Okay. Oh, if I hover above them, this is John Lennon, and this is Andy. This is Andy. Everybody say hi to Andy. Andy, what? Like what? It's got to be Einstein. Um, what do you do to deal with stress? Exercise, eat, paint, or write, drink. I just power through. That's exactly what I do. I'm constantly stressed with the shit that goes on and I have no choice but to power through. So yeah, that's exactly what I do. Solve the maze. What? What do you mean solve the maze? I, what? I, what? I, uh, okay, there you go. You are book smart. No, I am not. <laughs> I am definitely not book smart. You are the overly analytical type who was born to excel in the intellectual world. You're a thinker more than a doer, which keeps you in tune with the complexities of life, but can sometimes leave you at a loss when it comes to practical tasks. You hate being wrong, but don't get too emotionally invested in anything. You're all about logic. Uh, I... Kind of, not really, kind of not really, but all right then. Okay, welcome back. So this time I found, what is your hidden talent? So let, let's do this, let's see what it gives me. Which of these words best describes you? Creative, studly, elegant, precise, geeky, dangerous, or hungry? <laughs> Few of those, I'm, I'm, I'm fairly creative. I'm always hungry. I'm definitely geeky. <laughs> um. I'm quite precise with the way I word things and the way I speak. Um, not so much like when I'm typing, but if I'm explaining a story, I go way too much into detail and I have to point out everything that doesn't need to be said. I'm definitely precise that way, but not like... I don't know. <laughs> um, I, guess I get called geeky, so I'm going to do that. If you could eat only one thing for the rest of your life, what would it pizza? I don't even need to finish that. Is that here? Is pizza here? Pizza's not here. No. Pasta? Pasta? What do I... Spaghetti. Mm. Oh, man. This is this is difficult. Fuck you, broccoli. Kale? Fuck off. No! Why? Why are these even here? 
Hot dogs. Out of these things... Okay, see, I, I would pick cake, but the problem is with that is that... <laughs> some days you just crave hot food. Most of the time you crave hot food, right? I'm gonna go with hot dogs. I can't spell without using numbers. Uh, alright then. I, I can spell... What? I, whatever. How do you feel about violence in sports? No pain, no gain. I prefer sports that test my endurance and my stomach. I prefer sports that have nothing to do with violence. That depends. It's arts and crafts, a sport. Myth sports are not really my thing. Yeah, that's totally me. It's movie night. What do you want to watch? Okay. Uh, the Matrix, The Love Bug, Bring It On, The 40 Year Old Virgin, The Wrestler, Julia and Julia, Almost Famous, My Best Friend, Wedding, Seabiscuit. Okay, out of those films, either The Matrix or The 40 Year Old Virgin, but honestly, this film's fucking hilarious, so I'm gonna go with that. What's your standout body part? My hands, my eyes, my belly, <laughs> my rock hard abs, my legs, my arms, my throat. Um, I don't know. What's my standout body part? Um, I don't know. I, how do I answer this without sounding... I don't know. How am I meant to answer this? <laughs> um, my arms... Oh my god. Like, um, I don't even know how to answer this. At all. So I'm just going to go with my eyes, because why not? What is your best subject in school? Out of all of these, it was definitely science, so I have to pick that. Choose a magazine to read. Cars, weird, food, sport, two crappy celebrity crap fest, western horse riding thing, music, porn. <laughs> um, out of all of these, either the weird, it will probably be the weird shit. Um, it's Friday night, what are you up to? Looking for a party that's rage, watching TV at home, grabbing dinner with my friends, heading to the movies with my lover, catching up on work. I don't know. Night hike. <laughs> night hike? <laughs> it goes for a night hike. <laughs> that's amazing. Um, I'm at work, but sure. If I wasn't at work, what would I be doing? What do I usually do? Honestly, um... Watching TV at home? Although, uh, see this is... How do you answer this when your friends and everybody, you, you don't, are online? Because that's difficult. How, hmm... Hmm... I'm gonna, uh, It's gonna have to be watching TV at home. On a scale of 1 to 5, how accident prone are you? 5 being the most accident prone. Okay, I am very accident prone when I'm tired. Oh my god, if I get less than 8 hours sleep, the amount of times I've accidentally hurt myself because I'm too tired and not focused is insane. So I'm going to go 3. Because when I'm not tired, I'm, I'm perfectly normal. Your hidden talent is computer hacking. Computer hacking is geeky, dangerous, and made for those who know how to outsmart and outwit. It's good to know your your knack for code as a purpose, for better or for worse. So apparently I, I'm a computer hacker. Apparently. It's my hidden talent. Not that I know anything at all about it. But alright then. <laughs> I definitely don't outsmart people. I outsmart some people, I guess, but not... This is wrong. This, I don't feel like my hidden talent is computer hacking at all. But anyway, that's what it's giving me. <laughs> so there we go. Anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you did, hit the like button, leave a comment, and I will do more of these. Because this is turning out to be a lot more fun than I thought it was going to be. Like, when I did the first episode, um, I, I thought it was just going to be like a one-off. But on, honestly, I had I've, I have more fun with these than what you'd expect. It's kind of weird. Like, you don't expect to... To, to get so into it but you just do it's really weird but anyway yeah as I said I'm gonna end this video here now hopefully you've enjoyed if you did you love it leave a comment and I will see you lovely awesome amazing people in the next video bye bye this thing's pretty accurate um there you go.
Poodle, it gave me Poodle again. Okay, so it, it smart friendly gets along with people easily. Okay, so it's official. I'm apparently a Poodle. 